So right now there are a lot of dark clouds on gaming man like everybody's talking about it last week like a lot of people were hitting on Xbox right for right reasons for wrong reasons that's up to you for deciding that right suckers were also on the homies Dreamcast guys ass suckers were hitting on the guy right but today everybody's loving the homie because of what just went down we have another one of those bad Xbox news ladies and gentlemen oh, oh, yay yeah. and we got a video clip and this time I really don't know about the climax usually I know the climax I know like what's going on right but I make sure that I don't spill the climax right in the beginning and get you guys like uh, you know a good story so you're immersed into the story but this time I only know the plot and it doesn't sound good Xbox wants to buy Steam yeah at this point y'all suck this game go ahead and buy GTA 6 buy GTA 6 buy Sony just end it all bro just end it all buy sony then fire everybody <laughs> shut down the studios gaming for everyone my ass man like the video if you think that they should not be buying anybody more and just focus on making good games like the video if you just want good games just like if not but check this roll it microsoft wants to buy steam and roll <clears throat> it into xbox to make the brand of xbox gaming even more massive and basically this leak this rumor already has the entire internet completely freaking out because it does feel like if this happens if microsoft just completely absorbs steam yeah i think gaming is going to go down a dark path uh, oh i think the industry as we know it may actually fall apart but let's discuss Hi, I hope you're having a great day. If you, I don't think, man, I don't know, bruh. I don't think Sucker's gonna have a good, t a good day after hearing this news. But like and subscribe. Like you and could subscribe, give like this video subscribe. a like and subscribe okay. if you haven't already. Here we go. Boys. Now the origin of this is a very peculiar spot. So this gentleman named Dwar is a dude who looks into different financial stuff and video okay. game law stuff, and he just put this randomly on Twitter three hours ago, where he said essentially Microsoft is ready to offer sixteen billion dollars for Valve. Holy. This will not be stopped it will be all cash yeah that is crazy so they these seconds gave activision 70 billion and they're like uh, well you only get a uh, 16 billion which is still massive still massive don't get me wrong still massive. and guys you already know i wish i could say psych right now <laughs> i wish i could say psych right now but this is really happening in gaming just by gta 6 guys just buy sony yeah why even buy gta 6 when you can buy sony and just like <laughs> emerge into one platform and that's lit first of all that's gonna kill competition completely okay secondly it's also gonna end the fanboy suffering okay it's gonna end that banter that we have i i love the banter don't get me wrong but like when suckers get really really serious with plastics when suckers get mad to the point on the levels of if somebody insulted their mother that's when i'm like bruh like what are we talking we're talking about just useless plastics though right like these companies don't even give a damn about you we're talking about useless plastics that plays your games like yeah they're gonna sit there and we're just gonna play games on them and right now there are no games there are no games there are no games i mean there are but but you get you understand when I, what i mean by no games right what i mean by no games is like not literally no games but like lack of good games lack of no triple a titles lack of no good triple a titles and now we're actually seeing this i mean sheesh now pretty much immediately and we're going to go through a bunch of it. People are uh -huh. saying that this is the worst thing ever. I mean, some Xbox fanboys are going to go, okay, explain why this is bad. Well, of course, I have to point out the oh, fact yeah, that Microsoft does have a personally <laughs> awful habit of purchasing... All right, so I was wrong. Like, some Xbox fanboys are still, like, delusional, okay? ...in companies mismanaging and then closing them down. So, uh, yeah, I'm not immediately happy about the idea of this. Now, some people are immediately pushing back. And, 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 it's, not, and it's not even about, like, hey, potentially they might buy them and, and might shut them down and fire the devs and make the product bad or something like that. It's not... Yeah, that's, like, one factor for sure sure but it's not necessarily about that it's also like uh the, the biggest thing is that they're gonna become a monopoly at this point and uh, and also the uh, the third reason as well steam right now it's considered to be the best platform right it's uh, better than playstation it's better than microsoft guess what you don't have to pay for online amazing something that you also didn't have to pay for back in the days when ps3 was around right you guys remember the ps3 days the online days man you didn't have to pay man this is what i'm saying guys Xbox fanboy or PlayStation fanboy, we need to come together as one. Whatever you play on, don't matter. As a brown man, I demand free online for everybody. For everybody. Yeah, power to the gamers. Like the video if you agree, dislike if you disagree. But but like 
Yeah, if these seconds buy, if these seconds buy, bruh, first thing they're gonna do, have like another membership offering. So you gotta pay like, what, $100, $200 a year? <laughs> Tough love, PC Master Race. You gotta pay that. Bigger profits for Xbox. Uh, okay, sure, they can get that. Uh, that doesn't mean anything good or bad for the gamers. But, but like, then it's like, they're gonna also up the prices and, and the PC Master Race is gonna suffer. And in return, we're all gonna suffer. And, and, and yeah, it, it's not good. Let Steam be free. Let Steam be Steam, bro. And saying, okay, this probably isn't true. It's completely made up. The figure doesn't make any sense. We're going to break down the leak and its okay. logic, but just on the surface level, it is at least partially tangentially true that Microsoft, mm. th there were all these leaked documents last year that Microsoft themselves accidentally posted during the Activision Blizzard uh, Microsoft hearings that were happening okay. with the American government. Yeah. They accidentally America. leaked a bunch of their own stuff, their own plans, their own emails. And one of them was the fact that Phil Spencer said that he was going to attempt to buy an Nintendo, but obviously Nintendo laughed him out of the room. But the other one is that they wanted to buy Valve. Now, at the time, eight months ago when they made this offer... Okay, this second one, why don't you also buy Nintendo? Oh, no, bro. Okay, th thankfully Nintendo said no, but no. They said no, and I believe, like, if I'm not mistaken, even Valve so far is saying that they're not gonna, like, sell out. That's good. But you guys gotta also understand that they have said no now. Nintendo also said no now. Keyword now. You don't know. You don't know. Motivation change. Uh, CEOs change. People in charge change. People in charge uh, come and go as well, right? And what if somebody is like ready? I'm talking about like the the, the, the head, right? Like the CEO, right? What if the CEO that has the power? Uh, I, I don't know if the CEO has that power of selling the company or not. But what I'm trying to say here is that whoever the guy is, right, that has the power to uh, accept the offer to sell the company. For example, what if he's like really getting to the point of retirement so so he's like okay you know what might as well sell out and get my get my get my get my bonus get my money get my bonus you know what i mean right so he or she can think like that and potentially sell out the company and then everybody else has to suffer because then phil spencer goes around and he's fired like start like firing everybody having that tunnel snap and, and then also having online subscription for steam and, and yeah there we go right shutting down studios left and right i really think whether you're an xbox fan or playstation fan or i would say gaming fan yeah let's be real quick let's be real for a second gamers just want good games bro simple as that simple as that okay we just want good games Microsoft, y'all suck has got Activision, y'all suck has got Bethesda, y'all suck has got so many good studios. Instead of like shutting them down and canceling projects and the projects that you're releasing half-assed, like Redfall and also Starfield. Starfield was half-assed as well, let's be real. But it was better than Redfall, of course. Instead of like half-assing games, bro, like just and instead of firing people, just make good games. And instead of buying everybody else, just make good games, dog. You already bought Bethesda, you already bought Activision, which is one of the biggest company ever. Ever. instead of ruining all of that just make good games and trust me man like you never know bro like 10 years from now you might be the top dog 10 years from now sony might not be the top dog because they're also struggling right now in terms of dropping bangers hell is successful not denying that guys but but like other games where are the games where are the games right we're not having they any asked games. 8 billion. <laughs> now, obviously, Steam is massive. 8 billion is, is a laughably tiny amount. I mean, think about 8 it. 8 billion? Not even 16? Wait, what? 7 billion just for Bethesda. So, the idea of this rumor, immediately, people are pissed because Microsoft is not exactly a company that anybody trusts. Yeah. While they are good at doing stuff like making Windows and Microsoft Word and, you know, sort of keeping their trillions of dollar dragons hoard of cash profitable... Microsoft does not understand video games, and I feel like they their don't. track record speaks for itself, but they don't. I want to take a look at this because it, it sounds like the reason this, this rumor is so prolific, the reason, even if this turns out to be an inaccurate number, we do know that Microsoft did in the past, very recently, attempt to buy Valve, and I would not be shocked <sighs> if they tried it again, because right now, Valve is finally releasing a new game, so... If you haven't looked at it, I don't want to post the gameplay in this video because I will definitely get in legal trouble, but there's a new game coming out soon that's kind of like a mix of like Overwatch and Team Fortress 2, and it's called Deadlock. Valve's been doing beta testing for it for okay. a while. I looked at a lot of the gameplay. It does actually look incredible. To be honest, just Phil Spencer, if you're listening, just buy Sony, bro. Just buy Sony, just buy GTA. <laughs> 
Just my Sony. Just end the suffering. End the suffering. Like freaking it. good. I think it's, I'm, I'm joking around, by the way. It's going to be a huge success. And typically, whenever a company releases stuff, the value goes up. But yeah. here's the thing. Uh oh. Valve is a private company. Uh -oh. They're not publicly traded, which means that they don't have stock. They don't have typical value. They're not like on the exchange, which means that if you want them, you have to buy it outright. You can't do a typical takeover. Uh, I'm not okay. going to get too into the weeds of it, but there have been attempted hostile takeovers in the past where somebody at one point tried to just buy Ubisoft by eating up the shares, and Ubisoft had to fight off a yeah. bunch of just jerky billionaires from eating Ubisoft. Again. But I think right now, yeah, 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 totally. But right now, I think the way Ubisoft is going, man, bro, like, I, yeah, man, bro, man, bro, like, what am I even saying? But, but the way they are, yeah, my bad on that. But the way Ubisoft is going right now, they're probably gonna sell out eventually either they're gonna have to shut down because their stock plummeted so badly though i'm not just talking about the recent 15 percent crash but in like total from 80 bucks i believe they were at 80 bucks and now like 15 bucks last time i checked let me let me show you this against their will so here's the thing right now well gabe it Gabe Newell, the president, the CEO, Gaben? the man behind Valve, has been- Hey yo, Gabe? What? Hey yo, that's only his wife can call him. Uh, I don't even know if he has a wife or not, but like, my bad if he doesn't, but, but that's only his- My wife never called me Gaben, or my- Only my wife calls me Gaben. What do you mean, Dreamcast guy? What are you calling him Gaben? Been slowly shrinking his own shares of the company. It sounds like, for whatever reason, it sounds like this guy explains that uh, he gave away a lot of money in a divorce, stuff like that, but- here it is. He now owns close to 25% of the company, which means that he can technically be outvoted. The other heads of Valve, the other board members, the other major executives could technically green like this. Now, is this legal? Damn, that's crazy. But yeah, Ubisoft, okay, so right now they're up a little bit. They're like 21, but they went from, yeah, 80, almost 85, 82. Let's just say 80, right? 80 euros to now uh, uh, 21. Yeah, you guys are not able to see. Let me see. I, I know it's still hard to see, but 21. So, and they're sitting at 2.77 billion as a market cap. A lot of money, don't get me wrong, but in comparison to like other game companies, that's nothing. They're losing money left and right, and that's bad. Gully possible. The other wrinkle of this is that here in America, you can just purchase pretty much anything, but you can also buy it and shut it down. This has happened <laughs> in the past. We have seen times where a company just said, hey, you guys are doing good stuff. We're going to buy you. We're going to take all your best creators. We're just going to kick everybody out the door. We're going to keep your IP, your brand, your brain drain, but everybody else is fired. <sighs> I guess I would do anything for Gaben to be laughing at Microsoft. A, a lot of people are saying like, okay, this would definitely get blocked by a monopoly. Th this would this would get stopped by the lawmakers because there's no way this would actually be allowed. Xbox yeah. would own Microsoft Store Blizzard, Blizzard store, store and, and Steam, Steam, even if Gaben could reject the deal for whatever reason, regulators would. So yeah, here's the big... Yeah, to be honest, I'm inclined to believe that they, it would get blocked, but but again, what if it doesn't? Oh, shit. Oh, what if it doesn't? What if he, he, can't, keep, he can't keep getting away with this, bro? He can't give, give, give gaming for everyone, bro. Maybe if he buys it, it's really going to be gaming for everybody, ladies and gentlemen. thing. I do hope that this doesn't it. happen for a variety of reasons, and okay. let me talk about that. This uh -oh. is not me just being an Xbox hater or being anti-trillionaire, because, I mean, companies do different stuff. Big companies make good games, they make bad games, they do good decisions, they do bad decisions, but I think it's more about the fact that consolidation, I think, provably, never works. We just mm. keep seeing this again and again. Define that. In fact, even yesterday, I didn't have a chance to talk about this because I was working on the Hellblade video, IGN purchased Eurogamer. <laughs> Game Holy Informer, crap. VG247, Rock, Paper, Shotgun, and more, and they decided- Holy crap! I did hear that they purchased somebody, I just didn't know, but I didn't- Yeah, I didn't know it was Eurogamer, and even VG! That's crazy! Yeah, because in my last Assassin's Creed video, because apparently, uh, yeah, Assassin's Creed, people are, of course, upset with the Black Samurai. Some are not, some are, but the reason people are, uh, 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 like, upset with the BBC Samurai is because of the Japanese setting. People wanted, like, a, Jap Jap a Japanese protagonist. Yeah, whatever, right? Like, some people find that problematic, some not, whatever, right? But now we're finding out that apparently the, the, the Samurai, the Black Samurai, is also gay. So, yeah, go figure. The SBI, they're linked with SBI. So, yeah, people are upset with it. We made a video on it. And in that video, we also almost covered this story as well, where, 
yeah, I didn't purchase somebody. I just didn't know who though. Uh, and, and we were talking about yeah, it's ta it's about like controlling the opposition. It's also uh, about the fact that hey, like if nobody else exists. Uh, what, what I mean by this is that you're the biggest, right? Even now, IGN is the biggest. If and Eurogamer is also big, don't get me wrong, but they're not the biggest though. IGN is humongous. So now Eurogamer don't exist, VG don't exist, all of the other news outlets just disappears because they're now merging into IGN. Then you only have to rely on IGN, and now whatever they tell you is true because nobody else is there to correct them. I mean, surely we are, uh, but metaphorically speaking, nobody's there to correct them decided to lay off a ton of people. So this is bizarre because essentially all of gaming media is now owned by one big group. Like all the traditional yeah. journalists are almost entirely now technically IGN employees worldwide, which feels illegal. Like, isn't it weird the fact that there's now independent content creators and then a bunch of websites with different brands that are all technically IGN. And yeah. here's the deal. They just crazy, had enough man. money crazy. to buy the competition. So they bought them fired the people that they felt like weren't profitable uh, enough, and then no, they're keeping the rest. No, It is bizarre that, that this stuff could even no. be allowed. The fact that this might even be humored to me is disgusting. This, this would be a monopoly. There, there's just no way, there is no way that this would be allowed. I Maybe I'm coping and seething here, but yeah. I, I'm in a spot now where not only do I not trust Microsoft? I just don't trust any of these big companies. People keep mentioning the fact that Sony laid off 900 employees early this year. Yeah, they did. That sucked. Bethesda having so many people up and fired. The closure of Tango, of Arcane. I'm in a spot now where all of the gaming industry kind of terrifies me because I think we... It doesn't terrify me, it just sucks. Uh, gaming is not the same anymore. It's all about quotas, it's all about microtransactions now, unfinished games at launch, just dicking the customers, whether you're an Xbox fan or PlayStation or whatever the case might, might be, just, let's just a gamer, right? Gamers, yeah, we're, we're getting dung down left and right, and, and, and it's all about the money. I mean, it always has been all about the money, but at least there was a pa passion and soul back in the days. Uh, all the woke stuff, that's like another, completely another, another topic here. Uh, that also is a factor right now. Uh, and it's like, what what's going on? Games, simply put, don't have a soul left. Games are not made with passion. They're made with in mind how much money they can steal uh, from, not necessarily steal, stealing would be bad because gamers are giving them the money themselves, right? They don't even have to steal y'all money, y'all are giving them yourselves, right? Even if a game sucks, people still buy it, right? So yeah, they, they, they know that. So they always are trying to have the psychological tricks in place where they're making sure that we find a way. They're always striving for this. This is why, where the, the passion is at an all-time high. They're always striving to have systems in place that sucks the most amount of money from fan bases and from players and gamers. Yeah, that that's where their truly passion uh, passion comes in, and that's what they're truly passionate about. Other the rest don't matter. Making a good game with soul absolutely don't matter at all. It needs to be a microtransaction simulator, uh, uh, an engine that can suck in the most amount of money. You're in a spot of mild collapse. Big, boring executives. Dudes who have never played a game are now in charge of entire franchises, of entire That's universes, true. of That's entire true. console yeah. generations and DLC price points and stuff. Dudes who do not care about video games sitting in literal mansions with like 55 bedrooms are deciding when we're going to get the next Final Fantasy or how many DLC expansion season pass things are coming to Diablo. And to me, I think this is a sign 55? that something is going terribly wrong. Video games used to be cheap to make. PlayStation 2, Xbox 360, yeah. a lot of those early generations, you could feel a rawness. And I think mm. that people have kind of been craving some way to get back to that. I, I reviewed Hellblade yeah. 2 yesterday. Yeah, I, I did a big video about it. And you know what? <laughs> that game is photorealistic. It has the best graphics that you'll probably... Ah! Yo, yesterday he dunked on that game though. I, I don't know man, some are dunking on the game, some are loving it, some are saying that hey bro like the game sucks, some are saying that it's Xbox tax, Xbox tax, that people are hating on the game just for the sake of it because it's made by Xbox, I don't know man, I don't know, that's what I'm hearing right now, uh, but, but like, yeah, 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 but absolutely man, PS3 and Xbox 360 days were the best you ever see in a video game, but it's boring. It's bland. It's basic. The game itself is like five hours long and it's pretty much just like watching a movie. 
And I guess stuff like that is kind of what kills my hope for anything that Microsoft touches. Is that uh, Sony games are also kind of like movies, but I do agree that games can be entertaining by just uh, having popcorns in hand. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 honestly, bro, like, yeah, Uncharted, I would, like, take an Uncharted, absolutely, because games, uh, games are good, Ga uh, may might be movie games, but the story is there to keep people around, and that's why, like, PlayStation sells the way it does, and Xbox don't, appreciate you subscribing, uh, I don't know, man, thoughts on this one real quick, and guys, this is an Assassin's Creed video, they are changing him right now, check out this video on the screen, this is another disaster in the making, on the left, though, we apparently had Black Ops 6, teaser trailer and we also have a leak video going viral right now check that out because it's honestly looking good I'll, I'll give it that check it out and i'll see you right there